and I'm here to do your monthly spiritual guidance from spirit, your guides, Jesus, Allah, the universe, whatever it is you believe in, Love Muffin. This is what they want you to pay attention to in the month of November. So if you are familiar with my channel, channel, you know there is this whole thing that I go through, Aries, but honestly, right now in this moment, I'm not even feeling it. <laughs> I'm being asked to just go right in. So just keep in mind that this is a general message, my love. It may resonate. It may not. However, there are so many sweet souls that are sharing their gifts. You're going to find someone who picks up on your energy. So I want to let you know, Aries, um, in the month of November, your faith and your belief, okay, is being tested. And that could be in love, that could be in career, that could be in um, your finances, you know, just all over within yourself, in your spiritual practice, believe it don't matter. I'm just, I'm just literally hearing and feeling this. I, I, like I'm trying to put it into words. How do I put this? Oh my God. It's like a feeling. I, I just don't feel like myself. <laughs> I don't feel like myself. I don't feel like myself. And who, who for my areas who, cause this may not resonate with everybody, this, this part right here, but this feeling, this disconnect, like, I feel like you're still showing up. You're still yourself, but on the inner core, there's just this disconnect. There's just this, you know, you're just met with this. It's just like you know, seamless, like trying to connect together. <laughs> There's just this disconnect. That is the only way I can honestly, um, say it. Um, Aries, it's just this longing, you know, this longing that this, this longing. And, um, if you have experienced that in November, okay. Whatever it is you're, you're trying to achieve or receive emotionally, financially, financially, did I say that right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Spiritually, in love, in your relationships, in any dynamic, how you get back to that, okay, um, Aries, is your faith, okay? Going back to the basics. I realize with Scorpio season, that's what, that's what a lot of us are going back to. Um, is, is the basics for what, whatever that is. And what I'm really feeling as for Aries on a collective, it is more internal. It is your belief for yourself, for your life. You know, um, as I was shuffling, I wanted to like really try to like define this emotion, this, this feelings that some of my Aries are going through. And, um, I feel like the reason why you're being brought back to your belief or reconnecting with your faith. I feel like okay. you're being asked to, you know, reconnect because that's the missing piece. Whatever it is you're, you're trying to uh, achieve Aries emotionally, physically, physically, tangibly in inwardly, it begins with your faith, your belief, you know, just remembering Aries that this too shall pass. Okay. So if you have been experiencing that, if you're, if you've been wanting to manifest, if you've been asking how, you know, the, the why of it or, or how do I obtain, if that's been on your mind, how do I go about something? How do I enter something? Have faith, you know, why did it happen? Like, you know, whatever, whatever the question is, spirit is saying, have faith. All you need Aries is faith, the size of a mustard seed. Okay. The universe is asking you to trust. Okay. 
And what's crazy is, you know, if, if you've been having problems with that, um, now, but that's not how you always were, Aries. That's, that's just not, that's not how, that's not how you, that's not how, you know, Aries is. In my opinion, every Aries I've been around, like, you know, they are always pumping you up. They are always speaking, you know, like your friends. Oh my God. Like you guys, like your friend, like your friend could want to do something or somebody that you love can want to do something. Even if, you know, <laughs> you know, sometimes we just be wanting to step out there and like, mm. You know, you're going to encourage that person to go for it. Even if that shit don't make sense, Aries, you are going to be backing that person up, you know, doing that. So, um, I feel like that's you getting, connecting back with your faith, you know, is really going to, um, that's you coming back home. That's, you know, with the Scorpio season, with the alchemist, bringing things back into balance, maybe through somewhere down the line, like your faith and your belief, just what's attainable for you and, you know, what you can cultivate and what you can have inwardly, outwardly got this, got this, what's the word, distorted or something like that. But spirit is saying, going back to the basics. Okay. You know, so what I wanted to do, my love, is just pull some cards about how you can really reconnect back with your faith, <laughs> okay? And then I want to go ahead and just see what doors are you going to be walking through in the month of November? What doors are you going to be walking through? And then we're just going to let spirit flow before we get into your monthly spiritual guidance. I like to call this the appetizer before we bring out the entree, <laughs> okay? So one of the things that you can do... Um, Aries in the month of November, just to really reconnect back with yourself, to come back into balance, whatever situation got out of a balance. For some of you, I do feel is like an emotional toll or like with the, with the ex or just trying to get a greater understanding. You know, sometimes Aries, <laughs> um, you know, you got to have some patience. Divine timing is at work here. Okay. I've experienced, you know, trying to want to know every single thing. Like I've been wanting to know every single thing. And then I got a dose of something, Aries. And sometimes you just, you just don't want to know. Sometimes, believe it or not, you do want to be in the dark. <laughs> you know, you just, sometimes you just, you just, you just got to roll with it. Okay. So I feel like coming into acceptance with situations. Sorry, guys. Coming into acceptance with situations. Okay. There's something that you have to come into acceptance with when it comes to some kind of found, um, foundation structure. Found it, yeah, found it, yeah. Did I say that right? Foundation, I'm thinking about makeup, but foundation structure, okay? Acceptance. Accepting something for what it is right now in this very moment. Okay? Finding the beauty in that situation that even in that, okay, it serves its purpose. And I don't know, you see how this woman like is cherry right here, how she is gripping this damn, this pie, this pie knife serving piece. Like she's in deep thought thinking, you know, for somebody, I feel like, you know, um, a part of you, this is not for everybody, but I feel like, you know, dealing with the relationship Maybe you were, you got the short end of the stick. You know, you feel that way, you know, with some situation, it, it could be in career. Honestly, it's just a situation, um, areas where you feel like you got the short end of the stick. Listen, okay. That's what it may seem, but believe me, what you dish out, you shall receive. Okay. If you're dealing, you know, and I don't, I don't say this, <laughs> you know, I don't say this to try to be, like bring joy or something, but it is the truth. That's, that's one of the things that I, I'm really realizing and mindful, you know, of my karma and what I put out there because baby, everyone's going to have to eat that crow pie. I've had to eat in the crow pie for certain situations, certain things I did. I know you had to too. So you best believe, you know, allow a situation to play out. Everybody, ha everybody is going to get served what they dish out. OK, so you can let go of that, that hurt, that tension, you know, and I'm not saying take pride in that, but let's be real about it. You know, whatever, whatever situation that you have given to given to, you know, um, Aries and it just left you feeling depleted. 
You, you don't have to hold on. You don't have to hold on to that. You don't have to hold, you know, like it's haunting you, that situation. You don't have to hold on to that. You can let that go. Because I promise you, you were pure in the situation. You were good in the situation. Don't allow that to take away your faith. You know, for some of you, maybe that slice that you was dealt, it, it, it wasn't good. You know, it, it needed some more time in the oven. <laughs> so, you know, before you got served, it, it got snatched back away. Coming to an acceptance, realizing that everything serves its purpose. Okay. It's really going to help you. It's really going to help you reconnect back with your faith. You're being asked. This is a test because you're being asked to come back home, you know, and when you come to acceptance, you're going to let go of that insecurity, that hurt, you know, you're going to let that go. Maybe you're looking at yourself like you're the person that did something wrong or something's wrong with you. No, Aries, that I'm realizing that. That's not always the case. We make it about ourselves, and we try to ask, what can we do? I know like we're people are mirroring us, but you have to realize that you just by being your loving self, you just by being your open self, you just being optimistic about life. You just being engaged, you being emotional. Okay. Might scare the shit out, out of somebody because they're not ready to face those emotions and experience that and go through that. But you don't need to have that insecurity about you, but you got to accept a situation for what it is so you can release this and you can come into your growth. Look how much you have grown and understanding growth. I love this picture with the growth because growth looks different and it comes at different stages. Okay. Just because, you know, listen, you got the root, then you got, you know, just different stages of growth and really coming to acceptance of that. Okay. You might not see the roots under that thing, under the ground growing, but they're growing. You might have not seen it, you know, sprout out from the, you know, the earth yet, but it's growing. It's constantly growing. So you have to keep going and you have to keep growing. Okay. And realize yourself. Because I feel like when you come to acceptance with a situation, this is going to really activate something in your heart. OK, because the wisdom is already there. But maybe what you're looking at, maybe the feeling, the emotion that you're holding on to is what's blocking you from connecting with, you know, um, your faith. And a deeper understanding of the situation. It's not your fault. I need you to know that it's not your fault. Stop blaming you. There's nothing different you could have done. <laughs> There's nothing more you could have added. I promise you. You know? There's nothing. There's nothing different that you could have done. And I, I want to tell somebody, stop. You know, I know I like was like Tori trying to tell you to stop. But my baby, okay? Stop blaming yourself for a situation. It was completely out of your control, Aries. How it unfolded, baby. It had to unfold that way. It had to. Okay? But I really feel like right now in this time, you know, instead of blaming yourself, allowing those, um, those insecurities to, you know, fester and all that stuff, you can let that go, okay? In the month of November, you can let that go. You know, with acceptance, maybe doing an, a, med, a meditation, you know, because meditation is my, that's the plug, honey. You know, if you got to do that meditation 22 times every every day for 21 days, you know, in 21 days, you can break a habit. Do Or maybe for a month, doing a, a, a meditation on acceptance, Okay? Whatever you got to do, go ahead and do it, boo. Okay. <laughs> so Aries, we're going to see what door um, you are going to be walking through in the month of November. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and pull your overall theme. 
Like, what's the theme of your life, Aries, for the month of November? Spirit, so what is the theme of Aries' life in the month of November? These are going to be things that are really going to be playing around this. Okay, if you really pay attention, this is, you know, it's going to always come back to this. Okay, this is the theme of your life in the month of November, Aries. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is Aries? Okay, I'm going to take the first one that flipped over. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is crazy. I think you guys, when I was shuffling these cards, just wanted to come out. Or there's another sign that got this card. <laughs> you might want to check that sign out too. I don't even know what it is. So sorry, guys. But <laughs> it's probably like something on there for you too. But it says your overall theme for um, your life in the month of November, um, Aries, is with love's transcendent power, we can be reborn and redirected. When we open to love, life itself can feel newer more alive, more magical, and more, and meaningful, okay? So it's all about your perspective, okay? And really coming to a acceptance. Love is acceptance, okay? That's what I love about unconditional love. It simply allows you to be in whatever that being is. And truly coming into that mindset, it, that strips away judgment. That strips away, where, strips away where you need to be and how it should have happened, um, Aries. And this is how you really flow. This is how you're reborn, redirected. When we open to love, life itself can feel newer, more alive, okay, more magical, and more meaningful. There is an understanding that comes with that. There's this, you know, when, when you look at things like that, how that card says, you know, your understanding really helps you come into that understanding that what is for you will never miss you. Okay. What, what is meant to be will always be. And those desires of your hearts and those things that you feel very real very connected to it is yours and you can take you can take refuge and refuge in that okay and really come into acceptance okay my loves <laughs> that's beautiful Aries and as I said that, you know, my solar plex, so any attention that you give to your solar plex, your confidence, that's how we show up. That's how we're eager, <laughs> you know, all of that light, letting that light illuminate, honey. So as far as what door your doors you're walking through, Aries, in the month of um, November, I'm about to say October. So if I say October, please forgive me. <laughs> um, but this door... You know, this, I want to say this, this long hallway, okay? Understanding that every step counts. It's not about, you know, when you get there. Just know that you're on your way there. That's going to take the ease off. Instead of like trying to just, when am I going to get here? Or when is this going to manifest? When is this going to happen? When is it just enjoying the journey? Enjoying, you know, the, the path, the scenery. <laughs> you know, taking your moment, taking your time is what I'm hearing. That's the door that you're walking through and understanding. You know, pulling all these expectations off of yourself and off of situations. And truly, that's how you're at peace. Sometimes we... Um, Gary V said this on Instagram, he was talking about, you know, how he is happy because he takes off expectations of people. He holds nobody to expectations. He has a, a understanding that no matter what happens, they're, they're figuring it out too. Okay. And when you don't hold an expectation to a situation, a person because that's what leaves us disappointed when we have our expectations up, <laughs> you know, when we, we plan it out, how it's going to happen exactly to the T and it doesn't happen. And then we're like, oh, my God, <laughs> it's OK. Aries, Sagittarius be doing that, too. But I'm learning to remove those expectations. And I'm, I'm seeing for you, too, Aries. This is what has to happen. For you to have peace, for you to have to really flow in that unconditional love for yourself and others and just, you know, really bring vibrate higher and really get um, back connected with yourself. You have to release expectations, just going with the flow. OK, understanding divine timing. Pace yourself. 
So I feel like you're walk you're walking through the door of divine timing. You're walking through the door of patience. Okay, it's a lot. Everything I just said. Okay. Ooh, look, patience. <laughs> Everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right. Pass this on. Yes. Okay. Earth. I just see like you're going to become grounded, you know, walking through that door, doing those things. Um, Aries is really going to help you get back grounded, come back into balance, get back rooted, connect with yourself and connect with that part of you that you feel like just whatever you just couldn't connect back to okay let's see what else Ooh, trust the universe intuition okay has wondered and led you astray the timing's not yours but the universe the universe is at play have faith and breathe Aries have faith and breathe all is well and you are safe. That is how you unlock the magic in your life, in your, in any situation. And you're walking through this door of having patience and trusting the universe. You, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of logic and into magic, getting back into your heart space. And then we have a note on love. Seek different seasons and enter into the unknown when love is the focus Foundation and goal, blessed is the body, mind, and soul. Going back to your roots, love, okay? Education. So I feel like you're going to be connected. I feel like going back to your, your roots, understanding that whatever un happened, it was a situation, it was a lesson for you to learn. There was something that you needed. Sorry for the camera being unfocused, guys, if I did not catch that. Um, but also, I feel like there's something that you're being guided to um, maybe um, for some of you open through the door, going back to school, getting educations, taking a class, um, really connecting back with your heart space and doing something that you're passionate about. I feel like that's a door that you guys are walking through, okay, in the month of November, okay? <laughs> oh, I know that was a lot, Aries, okay? So let's just see what else the spirit want Aries to know about the month of November. What would you like Aries to know about the month of November, spirit? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What would you like Aries to know? Okay. Make sure, um, I feel like that you're, 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 um, I know this is nature, but I'm seeing like nourish, nourish your body, nourish your mind. Okay. Make sure that you're, um, you know, and it's funny, you get grounded, go out in nature. Okay. I'm really seeing that the need to go out in nature and get grounded, but also nourishing yourself. And especially paying attention to that heart chakra, okay? Environment. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, there's, there's some, you need to um, pay attention. For some of my areas, it, it's, it's someone or uh, it's some... Your environment, I'm, I'm being guided like for who you are hanging out. I don't feel like that's for everybody. For the most part, it's about going in nature. But somebody, there is people or a situation around you. I don't know that you've been giving too much to this um, situation or this person. Um, and I feel like um, right now, it, it's just not good for you. I feel like there's a break that's needed. Okay. For some of you, I'm feeling like friends. Who, who, who are you keeping yourself around? Okay. Yeah, relationship change. Okay, so I was. So for some of you, it could be a, a, a listen to your intuition because your intuition, when I said that, it should have been a person that popped on. Even if that person was like, mm, I don't really know, but I feel like, um, you know, I feel like there's a relationship change. I feel like you and this friend, even if it's a friendship or a lover, I feel like, or a family, it'll come back together. But right now, there's just some time needed apart is what I'm seeing. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition should, t you know, tell you who that is. Okay. Have compassion for them, but you don't, you know, if, if someone's not healthy, honey, you know, if someone, you know, is not healthy for you, Aries. Um, yeah. Cause we got spiritually. Okay. Um, I feel like this time is, Ooh, wow. This time it it's needed. Okay. 
have compassion. I don't feel like it's, you know, for some of you, it's not the person, whether it's love or not. But I feel like right now is the, really the time for you to focus on your dreams. This has been coming up for Aries to focus on your healing. OK, and we have moderation. Maybe when you're around this person, you really can't focus like that. You're really giving them all your attention. And right now it's all about you. And I feel like this, this situation had to come happen. Some situation had to come happen so you can re really connect with your dreams, um, follow your dreams and really connect with us. What's important to you and you're being guided to have patience everything is going to and i feel like with a relationship for some of my um why well, i was about to say pisces lord um <laughs> for some of my areas if i called you pisces i apologize okay i really feel like this is a teaching and learning season for you this is really going to help you um manifest what it is that you desire okay for some of you i am seeing parent parenting you know, if you've been, you know, your children having to, you know, disconnect from your children right now, just to really focus on yourself, your older children, don't worry about it because we do have rebirth here, but right now it's all about your personal growth. And even if you are a child, you know, just happen to this yourself from your parents, maybe they want to be all in your business or something like, you know, I'm talking about teens, 18, 19, 21, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like you just, sometimes you just got to understand that this is your rebirth and your personal growth. Okay. So that's what's, yeah, we got parenting again. I didn't pull it, but we got it again. So I feel like that's that's coming up. So Spirit wants you to really know that about November, okay? So now, Aries, we are going to go ahead and get into your personal, um, I want to say your personal reading, <laughs> but your monthly spiritual guidance. All right, and I'll be right back. All right, my Aries, now we're going to go ahead and get into your monthly spiritual guidance guidance for the month of November. So right up here, my love is going to be what is going to be crowning you in the month of November. Okay. This can be the things that spirit is going to be downloading onto your heart and also the things that you're really going to be thinking about. Um, and I feel like any action that you take towards these things, you will, re you will receive or see a lot of fulfillment in the month of November. Then my Aries over here is everything that spirit wants you to know about love in the month of November. And actually, as I was doing love, you know, <laughs> a couple of things were coming, were, were coming up. So if you're confused about a love situation of any sort, um, definitely want to stay tuned. Cause we're going to, I was like, you know what? I did want to like set everything out, but I was like, we're going to clarify this together. Cause it, you know, we got to get this clarity. You got to see it for yourself. <laughs> okay. And then right over here, my love is anything, um, Aries, that you're aware of, I feel like spirit feels like if you're aware of in the month of November, it will bring you more fulfillment. Right, right here is the word that spirit wants Aries to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of November. Okay. So here we go. Okay, my love. So let's see what's crowning you Aries. So the first thing that is crowning my Aries, I, I want to let you guys know, um, November is all about creating new chapters. Welcome the new. I feel like willingly and for some of my Aries, my Aries um, unwillingly, <laughs> um, the universe, the divine is pushing you towards a new beginning, asking you to welcome the new. Um, whatever, this is how you know that it's time to start a new chapter. If you're feeling confused or uncertain or disboggled, okay, about any situation, um, I feel like this is spirit asking you to change the focus, okay? Because there's definitely some things going on, um, Aries, in the background, okay? Right now is a time to be about you and for you to welcome the new in your life because there is a lot of, um, lot, there's a lot that's transforming in my Aries, in my Aries. <laughs> yeah, seriously, there is a lot transforming in my Aries. You guys, like on a spiritual level, you guys are ascending, okay? I feel like you're definitely opening up a new chapter on a spiritual level. You're really going within, really looking within yourself, Aries, and finding the beauty. Not looking outside yourself. Really, really allowing you to validate you. And I feel like by you doing that, by you coming into that outlook, is really opening you up to a new dawn, a new day. And spirit is just wanting you to prepare, welcome the new. It's time, you know, you know, it's, it's time. It's like a rebirth of like being reborn in the month of November. And I honestly, this is a beautiful energy to go into 2020 with. Cause I have, I have an inkling that 
my Aries is leaving a lot of things. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're cutting ties with a lot of things, okay? And, and I love this because this is going to help you welcome the new. Also, look what's crowning you guys. Again, like I said, religion and spirituality. And for some of you, this is a physical choice. Like, you, like, are you going to go with a practice that, you know, you were born in? Or are you going to actually come into something that's more suiting to you? And you're having that inner turmoil, you know? You're having that inner discovery. You're defining your relationship with the divine and what's that truth. I feel like you're, you're, you're also, I told you, like, with faith here. Faith is coming up for you too. And with all these, with all these new beginnings right here, welcoming the new religion and spirituality is really asking you to go within yourself. You know, Aries, like you're really being tested, <laughs> you know, when it comes to faith and your belief system and just what's tangible and just what's real to you. I want to let you know that that is a major lesson that you're overcoming in the month of November. Okay. And I feel like some of these, 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 these things that you're, um, you, you are being asked to move away from. Okay. Um, the reason why spirit, someone needs to know this. We have healthcare change. How I'm reading that it could be a situation. It could be in work. It could be in love. Anything that's confusing, anything that's taking a lot of your time, effort, energy to the point that you are not, you know, like physically, taking care of yourself Aries because we do have new exercise program and I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something don't feel bad Aries you know if you haven't been <laughs> like you know taking care of your temple you know like exercising but I feel like it's crowning some of my loves you know so you're that's going to be you know that's going to come back in full effect in the month of November but even if it wasn't don't feel bad don't beat yourself up because I feel like um with whatever's leaving your life it's really freeing up you know um freeing up what what you weren't given attention to okay and I feel like for some of you you're being guided to start some new exercising program to get out in the earth to exercise to get those chakras to flowing okay you know your solar plex really thrives off of activity and that's our confidence so <laughs> you know someone you know I feel like that's crowning you but also with healthcare here I feel like there was a situation that was probably like wearing you down health wise you know Stress and anxiety can really have an effect on the body. And I feel like this is why you're being guided to like, you know, get up, get out, you know, and do something, um, Aries. So this is, these are not all the things that Aries is going to be thinking about in the month of November. However, these are the major things that spirit really wants to highlight for you, Aries. Now, my loves, <laughs> we're going to get over here and see what is popping and what's going on in love. Because as I, as you can see, we got two pals here. And the first pal totally contradicts the second one. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, so then I was like, okay, so spirit, what does the energy of love need from Aries? Be it single, married, in a relationship, trying to figure it out. It doesn't matter. What does the overall energy of love need from Aries to get the most fulfillment out of their love life? And this is the card that came out. Things are not as they appear. With even reading this statement, the theme of your life, Aries, to really, really flow, to really trust this message, to really trust this energy, it takes faith. Because we are prone in this world to look on the outside, you know, to really judge on the outside, not to take a look on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. We, we like to see what's tangible. And um, believe it or not, when you come into a certain path of your spiritual growth and your spiritual understanding, you realize that is just, that's not just the way it is, you know, only, and I'm not saying it's a bad way to think like that. Okay. Because Aries, you know, I thought like that, <laughs> you know, I'm still like, whew, you know, still because in certain areas, especially in love, you know, um, I still like, you know, we, we, we got those thoughts, you know, you know, it, it takes a lot to really go it, and look at love in a spiritual aspect because, you know, when you realize that things are not as they appear, that there is this thing called the in-between, there is a gray area, you know, we're just taught not to do that, you know, not to do that. That's soft. That's 
that's horrible. That's, you know, all of these, you know, these words that people will define it and who wants to identify with that. But what I do want to let you know, no matter what, you know, I'm an advocate um, Aries for you standing in your truth, no matter what that looks like and your love life for someone, whoever I'm channeling, it is complicated is what I'm seeing. No fear because Tori is here and I am here to help you bring it into perspective. <laughs> okay, babies. Like, you know, like God, the divine, the universe, all of the above has, has really been you know, expanding me and enlightening me in so many ways. And it's, believe it or not, it, you know what, and you know, I feel like, you know what, Aries, you know why I can have this conversation with you? Because I feel like, honestly, in the month of November, there's a spiritual awakening happening. And I really want to tell you, um, enlightenment, you know, you're really being enlightened. And when I say that, you know, to really live on the frequency of enlightenment, you know, that's where most of the the mastery gurus that people, you know, look at <laughs> or inspire, that's where they live. And I feel like you're cultivating that energy. You know, that's, that's truly something that's, that's truly something that you're, you're understanding. And, um, you know, I feel like, you know, Aries, you're starting to see, you know, um, that everything is just not, you know, black and white, you know, it's, it's just, it's more complicated. It's, it's more, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm, we're going to try to make sense of it. <laughs> I am going to try to help you. Okay. So now let's get into love. So the first thing that it needs from you, Aries, is for you to realize that things are not as they appear. Okay. To have faith. Um, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. You really can't, you know, people do, but you can't. So the first thing what's going on, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, um, we also have separation and we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I apologize, guys. My nephew is screaming about Fortnite. Okay. So, you know, I can, we can't even see that. I'm trying to straighten it up. We can't even see that. Okay. So here we go. We're going to bring this right here. So when I seen these, I'm like, okay. I was like, well, you know, with these kind of cards, we can kind of put it into perspective, right? I thought that's what we were doing here. But then on the bottom, we got worth waiting for, okay? <laughs> then free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life, but it's all going to make sense. Then express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Gesture. Okay. Then, you know, coupling that we got, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership and then a past life relationship. You have known each other before. I'm feeling like a divine connection, twin flame, kind of, if you identify, if you want to put a name to it, that's what I'm picking up on some divine counterpart. So this is what I want to let you know, be it you're single or in a relationship, there is a separation and you and this person, whether you know them or you don't know them, but spirit wants you to make, wants to make very clear that there's a lot of divine healing going on. Okay. Whether you're single, just know that your person is out here healing, mending, um, moving away from addictions and codependencies, you know, that, you know, that keep them stuck in love, you know, that keep them only connecting on a physical relationship, really not you know, no, no hardness, no, no heart to heart. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's one way that I'm seeing it, but, but another way that I'm picking up on, I feel like a lot of you have, you know, met a person that kind of just like stole your breath away, you know, just kind of stole your breath away. And, um, spirit wants you to know that I feel like this connection, you're separated from them. Um, right here, we have unrequited love. There's not enough, uh, um, chemistry attract attraction to keep this relationship going. We have addictions over here. There's a lot of healing, okay, going on. Whether it's on your side, Aries, or your person's side. But there's a definitely a divine healing, a divine intervention stopped this relationship before, you know, it unraveled and went another way, okay? What spirit is wanting you to know, you know, things are not what they may seem. No matter what has took place or has transpired, okay? Um, now... This is what I want to let you know. I, I, I'm feeling making it very clear to let people know if you identify yourself on a divine journey, divine, like, a, you know, a counterpart, this is the story. Um, 
you know, or even if it's like a soulmate connection. But I feel like there was a, a strong connection where there was just so much passion and so much love and it just didn't work out. Okay. Now, if the, this is not fitting a situation if this person was abusing you or, you know, just really, you know what I'm saying, Aries? No, no, no. <laughs> um, but honestly, this separation had to happen so maybe it wouldn't get there. Maybe it wouldn't become toxic and maybe it wouldn't become all of these things because there's a lot of healing that needs to happen, okay? That's what spirit, spirit is telling me. There's a lot of healing. For my Aries, I feel like what, you know, for some of you, this is going to be a new relationship that you guys have a past relationship. Um, you've known each other in a past life, but also this is a person that's going to be coming back around. Okay. I don't feel like, um, it was anything like, you know, super grimy or like, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> nothing like that where, where your, your life is being put at state. I feel like it's more like of an emotional, not understanding, like why, why hasn't this connection you know, came together yet. Why isn't my person here? Spirit wants you to know that, um, there's something going on behind the scenes. Okay. And, um, this person, this connection is worth waiting for, but in the meantime, between time, you're being asked to free yourself. Okay. You're, you're being asked to live your life, express your love, go ahead make a romantic gesture. You're being asked to like, you know, when something is meant to be, it will be. But don't stop your life. Continue to live. Continue to heal. Continue to move forward. You know, I feel like you and this person have some lessons to learn um, before you guys come together. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. I just want to clarify exactly what it is that's going on. What does spirit want you to know about this situation? Okay. We have the fool, you know, and going back to belief. <laughs> then we also have the moon here. There's a lot of mysteries surrounding this situation, this connection. And I feel like this mystery here is put there for a place. It's put there for a reason is what I, is what I mean. But what you need to come into is to come into the full energy. You know, the full packs light. As you, as you are, you know, waiting for your desired relationship or desired connection, spirit is asking you to come into this energy. Okay. And for some of you, I feel like maybe you're just, you're waiting, you're holding your, like your, your life is on pause and you know, you see this dog right here and it's all about, you know, um, you know, when I see a dog, it's all about loyalty. But if you see this dog, this dog looks very skinny, like, you know, like kind of like starved. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, if this situation isn't feeding you, you know, this is what brings the pain, Aries, is because we continue to look at it and don't feel bad. Believe me, Sagittarius, <laughs> Sagittarius here, you know, like when Sagittarius, when we have our mind set on something, that's what it is. And that's, you know, with this situation, Aries, you're being asked to walk away from right now because I feel like it's not serving you of your highest good. There's something going on in the background, which deals with co codependency issues, you know, um, addictions and just unrequited love. This person has some lessons to learn. And I feel like with you, Aries, your karma is clear. But if you stay in this connection and just, and, you know, and continue to give, 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 and it's just not, you know, like they don't, they don't have anything to give you. They're starving their self, you know? <laughs> I feel like that's going to bring on those, those energies. Yeah. Of rejection. Okay. Then, then you're going to start those, you know, lessons over again and happen to, you know, deal with that. And I feel like, why, why in this moment that you can make a conscious decision to love yourself, to, you know, do what's of your highest good to move forward is what I'm seeing. Okay. You know, turn, turning your back on that rejection. Yeah. Cause I feel like right now they can't, they, this person has nothing to offer you. They barely can like give it to their selves, Aries. I don't care what kind of front. And I feel like this person plays a good part with that. You know, you can't look, things are different than what they look like. You know, they probably look, they have it all together. They have figured out and they just, you know, no, that's not the case here. Okay. That's not the case here. We have the four of cups. You know, you're wanting, you're wanting one of these cups, you know, it's them, but right now you're being given a personal, a personal freedom, a liberation within yourself, you know, um, Aries, the spirit is asking you to take this, 
to take that cup, okay? Let's see, what else would you like Aries to know, Spirit, about this connection? Yeah, look, we got the Ace of Cups and, <laughs> and the Lovers and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like it's, it's not done. This person is going to come back around. For some of you, I feel like they could be communicating with you, this person, you know, um, they're, they're going to do some form of communication. I don't feel like it's going to be major, but I don't know. Hey, <laughs> um, but they're clearing out some karma. They're clearing, they're clearing out some karma right now. You know, they're really going in. I feel like this person is in, you know, having a, a soul awakening, but it's, it's all for the better. You know, they're going to be victorious in it. It's a lot. Yeah. But right now they're going through a lot. Like I said, it's a lot, but they're, but okay. For some of you, for some of you, this person, um, <laughs> look on the bottom of the deck, the Empress, this is you. I feel like with the magician here, this person has to come in and realize, you know, just their, their worth and who they are Aries. Okay. Because I'm feeling like I don't care how they portray themselves. I'm feeling a lack of confidence come through very strongly. This person has to really define like who they are. Okay. Because I feel like they don't feel like they deserve you. Male or female. They they might, they do not feel like they deserve you on an inner level. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like um, in due time, they will have something to offer. In due time, you know, that they're going to tell you the truth. But I feel like they're on a quest. They're on a quest with a new beginning, too. I feel like spirit is asking them to walk away from this connection and not, you know, and really focus on them as if spirit is telling you. Okay. And I know sometimes that may not be what we want to hear, but I promise you, Aries, um, you know, the spirit has never, never wronged me even though it was probably not some shit I wanted to hear but I promise you my loves spirit has never wronged me <laughs> and for some of you I feel like it's a new opportunity to once you just heal you know there's new there's choices there's options out there we've seen the four of cups there's options out there okay and even with those options you know I feel like for some for some of my Aries you know um even though you have options that you can date, I am feeling like a period of, you know, really focusing on yourself, focusing on your career, focusing on your dreams. That needs to, that needs to be the choice that you make. But however, it's all up to you. <laughs> okay, my love. So we're going to go ahead and look and see what will bring you more fulfillment in the month of November, Aries. So we have passion. Look and quest <laughs> so i feel like um the more that you focus on your purpose the more that you focus on your passions and, and get creative the more fulfillment you're going to um experience in the month of november also confusion letting confusion go any any situation that confuses you walk away from it aries okay Walk away from it, sail away from it, go away from it, and just know that if it's meant to be, it's yours. It's protected, okay? But I feel like you're being, for to, for, for your protection and your sanity and, and your, your spiritual growth, anything that shows you the, the sign of confusion, go away from it, okay? I don't feel like this is a mirror, <laughs> you know? Because you, my love, have evolved. You know, it's time to see yourself in a new light, you know, my Aries. So... That will bring you more fulfillment. The word that spirit wants Aries to keep at the forefront of their mind in the month of November is peace. In all situations, look for peace. In all situations, how is this affecting your peace? How is this adding to your peace? And start making your decisions around that, okay? <laughs> so I love you so much, Aries. As always, it is such an honor to read for you beautiful souls. I love you so much, and I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Follow, she blazing.